and I do not think that any of them may be regarded as sinful. Yeah. So, I, I believe it's weak. I'm okay. not sure. Oh, okay. And Allah knows the best. Oh, okay. Al Bukhari said, Ibn Abbas said. Ibn Abbas. Who's Ibn Abbas? Uh, he's a companion of the Prophet. Is he a cousin of the uh, Prophet? Uh, I believe so. Okay, so he's very close to, he's one of the closest to the Prophet, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Ibn, Ibn Abdas said in his recitation of the revelation when he spoke the shaitan threw some falsehood into in his speech but Allah has abolished that which the shaitan threw that, again that's a reference to the verse then Allah establishes his revelation Ali Ibn Abi Talha reported that Ibn Abbas said when he did recite the revelation, shaitan threw some falsehood in it. When he spoke, the shaitan threw some falsehood into his speech. The mujahid, so those the scholars said, إذا, إذا thumna. When he did recite, when he spoke, it was said that it, it refers to his recitation. Whereas, إلا أمانية, but they, tr they trust upon amani, means they speak, but they do not write. Al-Baghawi and the majority of the scholars of Tafsir said, Tamanna. He did recite, reciting the book of Allah. Al-Qash Shaytan fi Amaniyya. Shaytan threw some falsehood in it in his recitation. Al-Dahak said, Ida Taman, Ida Tum, Ida Tumna. When he did recite, when he recited, Ibn Jarir said, that This comment is more akin to an interpretation. Uh, shall I continue? Uh, I mean, uh, do you, are you familiar with this uh, tafsir? Uh, I, I, tafsir itself, no. I'm not learned in, in that no, sense. Okay. But again, I heard the argument of Satan verse. Actually... Uh, no, no, no. Because no, yeah. I don't want to go by what they have said. Neon, why did you go to uh, Kathir? Why didn't you go to somebody else? I, I, I think it's the most popular. Uh, okay. Uh, who else is the second most popular? I'll say Ibn Jalalain. Okay, let's go to Jalalain. Let's take a look and see what Jalalain has to say. Chapter 22, verse 52. Hmm. Um, I think this is. Yeah. And we did not send before you any messenger or soul. This is a prophet who has been commanded to deliver a message. A prophet, Nabi, one who has not been commanded to deliver. Is this anything. this about 2252? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, it's, it seems a bit off topic, but go ahead, please. Uh, but when he recited the scripture, Satan cast into his recitation ah, okay. what is not from the Quran, mm. but which do, which those to whom he the, the prophet had been sent out would find pleasing. The prophet had had during an assembly of the men of Quraysh, after reciting the following verses of Surah Al Najm, had he considered Lat and Uzza and Manat, the third one. Added as a result, as a result of Satan ca casting them onto his tongue without his the prophets being aware of it. The following words: Those are the high-flying cranes, al gharani ula and indeed their intercession is to be hoped for. Mm. And so they, the men of Quraysh, were thereby delighted. Gabriel, however, they were delighted. They, not, the men of Quraysh were delighted. Those who uh, I think I heard him say what. Uh, the, the, in, uh, the intercession of uh, cranes. The intercessions of the cranes is to be hopeful. Yeah. Which is in uh, Islam is shirk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, uh, but, but he's he said that to please the men of Quraysh, who were the worshippers of Allah Manat and Uzzah. Okay, but the the, the, the but they were about to kill him actually. If you can read the story, they were going to kill him to save himself. He said that. So then that means that he accepted yeah. them so that they would spare his life. No, no, I, I believe that there is two points to be made. Okay. One, it's, it was Satan that cast as a... In the We're going to go there. Yeah. We're going to go there. That's Satan, a very big point. Yeah. I was just going re dealing with this the minor again, point. The minor point being yeah. to save his life. But what he agreed with his enemies who were about to kill in, him. In both the tafsirs, it doesn't say that. And also... Oh, you haven't read the much, whole story. Yeah, there are other much, sources. Yeah, where you will yeah, find you have us. to provide me the sources for me to All right. believe All that, right. uh, but that's not the main gist of my uh, uh, yeah. of, uh, of the argument the main gist of the argument is what you mentioned that uh, satan mm. has control of muhammad okay now i think if you speak and you speak into him and i speak over you and yes okay and you can message, make that argument and his message change and he hears something different than what you said mm -hmm. then I, I don't have control on you unless 
I am physically forcing to say something, hmm. and uh, you're right, saying right. from your mouth. All right. again, so, so, so yeah. let me make that clear now, because the audience—I don't want to confuse the audience—and sometimes I get confused too. The when audience? The, the audience, the ones watching oh. on the kind of camera, yeah, yeah? yeah. So you know we are on camera, right? Yeah. So I don't want to confuse them because I—I'm a simple person, right? I'm not a, a a scholar or a PhD or something, right? I need a yeah, neither are you. So, and the, most of the people watching are also not scholars and PhDs. They want something very simple, very yeah. basic. So what you just told me, what I understood, was that Satan spoke over him. Uh, I would say, I would argue, yeah, the verse is clear when the prophet said something and say, uh, sh uh, sorry, Satan misguided the people who were listening to it. Then the message has been misconstrued when it reached the, the, not the message itself, but they received a different message which is misconstrued right, right, from the right, original right. one. Now, now, if you say that, could you do me a favor and go back to the verse and we read it? Because the, the verse, itself, uh, the verse itself, no, no, not the tafsir. We have done with the tafsir pretty much. Okay, um, we just want to uh, read the verse now so that people can get the background of what the tafsir says. Yeah, tafsir is basically, you know, they're scholars explaining the verse, commentary, exegesis, yeah. what they got out of it. So that's, let's see what uh, the verse actually says. And I hope you're going to read it in English because the audience are English, right? Again, when you and I know you don't speak Arabic, do you? I don't, but I'm learning. Mm. Uh, I'm, again, I'm only 15 years old. I, I have so much to learn. And I'm still in school. I have so much to learn. Mm. And I come here to learn. So. All right, good. If you, if you come up with something new that I never heard of, I'm not going to argue with it. Mm. I'm going to do you feel comfortable discussing this? Uh, I, I think uh, to a certain extent, absolutely, mm. because I've heard this argument before. And also, I'm here to learn. So if I have some, if you if you point something out to me that I don't know, I'm gonna go home and, and research it. Right. And if you're here next week, I'll come I'll come back. That's yeah. fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, and we did not send before you any messenger or prophet, except that when he spoke or recited, Satan threw into it some misunderstanding. Wait, wait, oh, just now. Now we're gonna go a little bit slow because we're gonna like get into the nitty gritty. Okay. All, right, all right. All right. So now. On the second uh, uh, sentence in this verse, where it says, uh, when he recited, can you go from there again and just read the one sentence over there, please? Uh, it's, it's one sentence. The whole thing is one sentence. I mean, like, uh, you know, that's part of the What's sentence. Okay. Um, prof, uh, and when the prophet recited, something like that, yeah? Go ahead, from there, there. There was no prophet, no, sorry. And we did not send before you any message or prophet, except that when he spoke or recited, <laughs> Satan threw into it some misunderstanding. Some misunderstanding. Yes. Okay, that's the translation, yeah? Uh, yes. All right. But so, I mean, straight and true, it can where? I, can I yeah. make up a minor mm. point here? Yeah. Uh, I believe this is not unique to the Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad. So, uh, you're saying that this happened to other prophets? Uh, yes, absolutely. Because oh, okay. It says here, we did not send before right. you any messenger prophet. Very prophet. good, very good. That's a, that's a good point. So, what I would say to that is, that's a very big claim. And I think Muhammad, because... He had to protect himself now because the Muslims were very upset, again, knowing that he has told them to worship only one God, and now he's saying it's okay to have these uh, three uh, three goddesses, and they were like, "What are you talking about?" And now he has to say something to protect himself. Can again, you come and uh, answer? Come, come. I'm not debating. Why don't you come? Why don't you come and debate me? Come here. Why? Why not? Are you afraid? Come here. But again, you Rihan, Rihan, come here, let's your, debate. You're changing. Oh, your... sorry. Okay, then don't bother me. That's okay. okay. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Oh, you want him to go away? Oh, okay. You have to listen to them. Are you wanna? Are you wanna continue? Are they? Are they your parents? No. Okay. Are you his? Are you his father? No, why are you telling him not to talk to me? I bet, again, because you do have a history of being uh, not the best person to speak to. For what? For what reason? I mean, for... Ha have, for you, have you had any issues yes, with me? Rihan, 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 why don't you, why don't you discuss it with me? Oh, Rihan, you're not going to discuss it. Okay. All right, here we go. Huh? No, it's okay. They're so scared of me. The, anybody who tries talks to me, oh, Rihan is here. No, no, He's, he he carries himself as one of the debaters here. He comes and uh, talks to girls. He, he wants to find white girls that he can talk to who don't know much about Christianity, and then he wants to preach them Islam. 
That's that's his uh, that's his criteria. So when he finds a man who knows how to defend his faith and and to talk about Islam, he runs away. Run away, run away. I didn't know that you were going to run away, but now you did. Because I, did I say something before he came that that offended you? I didn't say anything. That's okay, Rehan. That's the only way to defend Islam is to run away. Running away is, uh, is the way to defend Islam. Uh, why don't you come? Come here. You're a man. Come here. I know you. Come on. Let's. We have had a debate before. Come here. I go, I will, I will go pray. You go pray. Ah, uh, you gonna? Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. Defending Quran is wasting time. It's okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Allah is a false god. All right, man. This is this is a stage of uh, you know Islam. Before they used to come and like challenge us. Just when you come and ask them a question, they want to run away. They have no excuse. They have no answers. They're bankrupt. Islam is totally bankrupt. The internet has exposed them. Muhammad was a false prophet who was speaking for Satan, and the verse clearly states that he was. The, the, the Satan was speaking through him. So if Satan can speak through him, that makes him a prophet of Satan. He's not a prophet of God, according to the Quran. Sir, can I ask you a question? Yes. A non-religious question. Yes. You're going to laugh now. I am in the market to buy a microphone. Sorry, sir. That's not the... No, no we can't have that. This, I don't do that. Sir, this is a religious discussion. Sorry, After we have this, we can have a discussion. Sorry. So this is the state of Islam in the park right now and uh, it's hopeless. Jesus is Lord, Islam is false. I'm out.